Dude, that song was a banner. Okay. Uh, so the songs here, I'm guessing these are, so that song I remember, but I don't think I remember it from this game. I think I remember there was a Reader Rabbit VHS that had this song in it. If anybody else had that, or like I, there, our library had it and we borrowed it. And okay, wow. The nostalgia is real. I'll be coming back there uh, later. Um, hmm. Okay, so that, that's the food we have. We only have hot dogs, but that's enough. That's the bare minimum that the campers need. So we went to diner lineup. Uh, let's go to County Lake next. I don't remember this one. I kind of remember diner lineup. I want to cross this creek, but it's too wide. Maybe one of these turtles can give me a ride. You need to cross this creek to keep on track. Perhaps you can get a ride on the turtle's back. There are some letters upon each turtle's shell. Which one starts this word? Can you tell? Click on the letter sound that starts the word... Cup! What weird universe have I fallen into? They're like, there are some turtles here. They randomly have letters tattooed on their back. The one that's letter matches what's on this sign is the one who will be willing to give you a ride. What is this sorceress land? Click on the letter sound that starts the word... Cup! I don't think so, Mr. Crow. I want to hear what any loudspeaker has to say. And now, for your enjoyment, here is a Bumblebee singing Jingle Bells. <laughs> Let's give it a hand for Lenny Loudspeaker! This letter makes the sound... That's the correct letter sound. You're on your way. That was the Keep only on turtle the that was actually real. The other two were holographic illusions. Hey, bro. Oh, right. I can cross the creek now. Will the campers be able to? Maddie Mouse is somewhat more intelligent than the average summer camper. Don't you think there should be a bridge? This does not seem like it would pass the safety test of Vacation Bible School. Just saying. Just saying. I got... Oh, no! Hey, Maddie. I'm glad you're here. Can you help me out? Sure. What's up? Spike dumped a bunch of trash in the lake. What the heck? I need help <laughs> cleaning it up in time for the canoe races. Can you help me? I could help with that, but I'm looking for camping gear, too. Well, I could help you do that. Let's work together. What do you say? Okay. Great. Follow me. Okay, you know, I am, you know what I'm learning? This camp has a library? Where, what universe are we? Okay, there was a lot to unpack there. Okay, so one thing that I've learned just from that interaction, Spike might be kind of a bad person. Like he just dumped trash in the lake for fun. He's terrible, but he's also the only relatable character. Oh my gosh, that sunflower just ate a bee. Nature strikes back. Th that was, what I, the characters of this are too doggone nice. <laughs> like, no, seriously, like they're too. I'm all for being kind and helping your neighbor and stuff. But that interaction is just like, hey, like, uh, here. there was trash in the lakes. Oh, I can help you with that. It's like, hey, I'm looking for the. Oh, I can help you with. Oh, I can help you. I'll oh, let me help you. I'll read a rabbit. You're such a nice guy. It's like, people don't. People don't talk like this. <laughs> uh, at least Spike might be a bad person, but he is relatable. He's the only. He's the only person who feels both positive and negative emotions. <laughs> Here's an insect fact. A cockroach can live up to 10 days without a head. Hmm, I kind of like that. Wouldn't have to brush my teeth, comb my hair, not bad. Okay then, Lenny. Oh, wow. Squirrel came back from vacation, I guess. I don't read a rabbit. We promised to get the trash out of the lake, but I'm going to hit up the library instead. See you, read a rabbit. Bye. What summer camp is a library? What the heck? This is like the posh. Oh, Lord. Welcome to the library. That Humpty Dumpty the doll is freaking creepy. So is that the campfire party. 
Can you help make That's more like stories? That's like a bust of William Shakespeare. See that storybook on the table? Up weird. Click on it to start making a story. When a you're story? finished, click on the bookworm. Then I'll put your storybook over there on the shelf. Oh wow! Okay, there's a lot to experience here. I also have no memory of this. Humpty Dumpty doll is blinking. Burn it. The picture just told me to shush when I told him to burn the Humpty Dumpty doll. Either that or that is a window and there's a guy just staring creepily at us telling us to shush. Okay, okay. Well, I don't, I don't like that. Oh my gosh, there's actually... Someone poured a soda into that book. That is an elaborate pop-up book. Let's, let's make our own story. Yippee! I love when we make storybooks. Pick your favorite character. Who's our favorite character? Reader Rabbit, Pierre, Baby Bear, or Babs? Who the heck is Babs? Okay, well, I know it's Reader Rabbit's game, but thus far, Pierre has been by far my favorite. Let's just say Pierre. Pierre the raccoon. One day, Pierre went to a farm, a lake, a park, a forest. Uh, I think he went to the lake. Up in the sky, he saw the sun, a cloud, a rainbow. This is a riveting story. He saw a rainbow. Duh, because he, he, he was rainbow. eating Skittles. Obviously. At the lake, Pierre saw a fish, a turtle, a frog. He saw, didn't just see any turtle. He saw a turtle with the letter C tattooed on his back. A turtle. And wearing a ninja mask. What if he saw all three? Pierre decided to... Look for shells. Play a banjo. Swim in the water. Um, Pierre swam. He went, he went for a swim. One day, Pierre went to a lake. Up in the sky, he saw a rainbow. At the lake, Pierre saw a turtle. Pierre decided to swim in the water. The End by Artie the Sec. That's me. Bookworm, put this, make this a story in real life, please. If you, do you want to print it out? No, because for some stupid reason, I cannot connect my computer to my printer. I can never do that. Um. Wow. What a great story. You flatter me. Yes, it, it, it is my master. It is if my masterpiece. If you want to make another story, Click on the storybook on the table. Maybe, maybe we will enough, another time, perhaps. Uh, let's leave this creepy library. Everything just disappeared before our eyes, and Reader Rabbit is very upset that we're not picking up trash in the lake like we promised. Let's go! Reader Rabbit, where are you going? Look at this mess Spike made. If you help me to pick it up, I'll bring it over to those recycle bins on the other side of the lake. Okay, we'll be glad to help. Did he dump we some of the food supplies in here? With the right number of pieces. Click on the trash to move it by Reader's boat. When you have the correct amount, click on the net. Reader will scoop the trash into his boat. Ready when you are, Maddie. His first name is Five, Reader. Three An unfortunate cans. First name. Three cans? Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Hooray! You found the right amount. One, two. There's more three, trash in the lake. No, six, we need to count to three. Read rabbit. Nine, five oh, the other. Oh, oh, that's how that works. You just you you count you count the amount of trash you want to scoop up. You scoop up that, then all the rest of the trash just va vanishes. That yeah, that's how it works. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, how much do we need? Find five. Bottles. Oh, well, these are the bottles Freddy Fish needs to find the kelp seeds. Good work. One, two, three. Let's see if you. Four, cool, you got five, five bottles. There's still, bottles. you know, four pieces of trash. Five pieces of trash left, but that's okay. Five, we don't need that. Five cans. Five cans. Is Spike just continually throwing more trash in the lake constantly? Because there were not this many cans a couple seconds ago. One. Two, three, four, five cans. 
He's just like, hey, Spike, can you help take the trash out? Shit. And he just like, he dumps it in the lake. Uh, what, what, I'm sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention. This is a let's play. I'm talking rather than listening. I'm glad Maddie is telling us what trash to pick up. <laughs> just click on the trash we need. <laughs> Find all the groups of three boxes. <laughs> I'm glad that Maddie is uh, saying it, and I'm paying attention while you're not. <laughs> Shut up, Reader Rabbit. You weren't even in the math game. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Good work. We sure got a lot of trash cleaned up. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. You're ignoring the rest of the trash in the lake. What are you going to bring me? I mean, I and guess. If you click on your list, you'll see the raft colored in. I'm going to need paddles for this raft. I'm sure we can find you some. Can we? Oh no, we didn't get everything. <laughs> no, no time. Okay, ready when you are, Maddie. Find all the groups of four bottles. The two and two make a group. Good work. Whatever. Just get the Find big box. The we can leave the rest. Three cans. All right. There we go. Good work. Just ignore the rest of the cans. Find go for bring me my prize. Five. All the groups of five. There we go. And boom. Hooray! You found the right amount. It is getting harder. Find all the groups of three. But not hard enough for quick fingers, Artie. Good work. Do -do 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 -do. So, are, are, again, Good are we, are we all just volunteering sure at the summer camp? Trash cleaned up. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling. Also, is Reader Rabbit in kindergarten, or is he just teaching kindergarten? I've never understood this. Super job. Here are the paddles for the raft. Great! Yay! Uh-oh. There's still more trash in the lake. Who can... Spike needs to really again. lay off the trash. Ready when you are, Maddie. Find all the groups of nine. All the groups of nine. I'm going to need to count this one out. So that's ten. Uh-uh-uh. That's eight. One, nine. One, two, three. That's nine. There we go. Good work. Okay, that one's actually getting tougher. We have to actually manually Let's count stuff out. Lest I miss six one. Cans. Six cans. All right. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, 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 eight. One, two, three, four, five. Just that one. Nope, that's five, actually. Wait, there are no groups of six cans. Wait, there, there aren't any groups of six. Let's make a group of six cans. Oh, we make a group of six. Good work. Three cans and three. Oh man, cans. they're ramping up the difficulty Makes on me big a group time. Of I six remember. Cans. I remember. Like, if you do everything in the game, you actually get an ending. And Let's I remember I could only get the ending one time. Six bottles. Like, I could only get the ending one time. It, it, it's it's Hooray! not a trivially easy you game, considering it's for amount. kindergartners. Five bottles and like one we're, we're now doing addition. Makes a group of six bottles. Let's make a group of eight cans. Eight cans? Oh boy. Doopy doop. Good work. Three. Like, you do have to understand basic addition in order to do this. Cans. That or just try every combination. Of which eight is going to take a while, because there are four different levels, and each level you've got to do, like, 15 activities. So you're going to be Good here for a while. Work. We sure got a lot of trash cleaned up. It's so easy to sort the trash into these recycling bins. If only Arthur was here, he'd get it all. Arthur knows how to clean up. Great! You got a lifesaver! Thanks! Yeah, Every I love that candy. one of those. Hey, Gopher. Thanks for taking my rafting supplies back to the camp. We only get one for all the campers. They'll have to share. Oh, hey, bro. Come fly Feather Airlines. First class seats are still available. Yes, fly, fly me back to the jukebox. Whee! 
Thank goodness it's not a real owl who's gonna try to eat the mouse, because owls eat mice in real life. Thanks for the ride. It helps they're the same size. Right time. That was very nice. Hey, of them. Maddie, you've got some supplies. That's great. I sure do, and this is fun. Kind of. So, Charlie, what have you been doing? Uh, I've been listening to Lenny Loudspeaker. Go to the camp dance hall. Welcome <laughs> to the camp dance hall. I think you can weasel your way out of that. Click on one of the buttons to play your favorite song, and don't forget to dance along. <laughs> what do these do? Cool. Less cool. That was a little disturbing. Reader Rabbit is so famous, he gets his own jukebox with him, like a, bra a silver version of himself on it. What do, I, what do I mean? Okay, let's see if there are more of these songs that I recognize from the depths of my core memories. There's a blue sky above and a forest all around. There's a warm summer sun and a gentle summer sound. I can smell the scent of flowers floating on the breeze. Just what I please. I can learn so many things about the woods I never knew. All of this in campfires, too. And when I want some company, there's always lots of friends. I love to be in nature where the fun just never ends. I feel so very happy, no need to say a word. I just want to whistle like a bird. <laughs> 